KX News Storm Team. Welcome back to KX News at 6. Taking a live look at Bowman this afternoon. Cloudy skies right now. Some rain showers in and around the vicinity. Just 61 degrees. That wind is rocking and rolling out of the southwest. 35 miles per hour sustained. The wind gusts of 46 miles per hour. Saw some 55s earlier this afternoon. Overall, your Wednesday weather headlines. That wind's going to continue into tomorrow. Some 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts really through tomorrow afternoon. Some showers out towards the west over the next few hours. Overall, trending cooler as we progress closer into the weekend. Some 60s, possible 50s for those daytime highs. Overnight lows may fall into the 30s in some spots over the weekend. Overall, we have this area of low pressure just off towards our west. This front's moving through the capital city right about now. We can feel those winds outside of our studio. Overall, clouds are increasing as this low continues to move towards the east. We'll trend cooler and cooler as that low deepens, staying windy through tomorrow. But by the time this low gets out of here, by the time we get to the weekend or so, this high out towards the far west will begin to move in, drying things off for us here over the course of the next few days. Temperature wise, pretty wide ranging, just sitting in those 50s and low 60s towards the west 58 in Sydney just 61 for you in Watford City some 70s for our central friends even a 78 towards Wishick and Medina and as well as Hazleton overall the winds out of the west southwest right now we're at about 15 to 35 miles per hour as far as the sustained winds are concerned stronger winds going to be towards that southwestern corner latest gusts 46 in Bowman 47 for Dickinson saw some 55s and 56s earlier in Bowman and Hedinger and expect those winds to increase again as we head into tomorrow We'll continue to see those showers out towards the west, mainly towards that northwestern corner over the course of the next few hours. May get a few raindrops and minots over the next few hours as well. As you can see here in our precision cast right about now or so, some of those showers building in from the southwestern corner. More showers really through tonight into tomorrow. Should be out of here, though, by the time we get to late tomorrow afternoon, drying out for us, of course, heading into Friday. As far as tomorrow's daytime highs are concerned, just 60s towards the north, 70s pretty much elsewhere, so a bit cooler than we were certainly earlier in the week. Looking ahead to Friday, perhaps the warmest day we'll have of the week, 70s and 80s for a lot of us. Overall, those winds going to continue to increase as we head into tomorrow. Lots of purples out across the western half of the state. 40 to 45 mile per hour gusts in all likelihood for those western locations tomorrow. Up towards the north, still continued with those 30s and 40s. Going to calm down, though, by the time we get to Friday. Just some 25s out towards the western tier for your Friday afternoon. Overall, we'll see the next five days, just 71 degrees tomorrow. Again, Friday, probably the warm spot, 78 degrees, and then cooling off for Saturday, just 39 for your overnight low, though, by the time we get to Saturday evening. Dickinson's five-day forecast tomorrow, 73, 81 by the time we bump into our Friday, and again, just 62 for Saturday, 37 for the overnight low. We're watching that trend. Those numbers are getting lower and lower as so we get closer to overall the weekends. My not seven-day forecast looking ahead to tomorrow, near 70, and again, Friday, upper 70s for you and then just 61 for the Saturday and staying comfortably in those 60s for pretty much all of next week. Maybe a couple of 70s here or there though and Bismarck seven day tomorrow 75 that winds will continue once again 80 degrees and sunny though for Friday should be a very nice day 60s for you for the weekend a couple of 70s here or there overnight lows low 40s Saturday evening staying in those 40s for most of next week so perhaps no real frost concerns the next few days but again those overnight lows dipping as we get into the weekend. But no more lake weekends this year. And I got to tell you, Kenny, that might impact our friendship. <laughs> I tried to hold it off as long <laughs> as I possibly could, but we're getting close to October, so it's about that time, unfortunately. You can go to the lake when it's, it's 60s never. and 70s. I mean, maybe maybe you just wear a layer when you go to sleep. And yeah, no more bathing suits, unfortunately. <laughs> I, yeah, that's true. No mosquitoes, though. Yes. <laughs> Kenny, thanks so much. Coming up next in sports.